for peace in the world in any case. He's a peaceful guy. You, you're not surprised. He's a vegetarian. Long time. <laughs> Long time vegan even. And Elizabeth Cuccini, his wife. India, former environment minister Maneka Gandhi, the current mayor of New Delhi, Australia senator Andrew Ballard, etc., etc., etc. In the political arena, many people have turned to vegetarian diet or vegan diet. This is a very, very good sign. It's a auspicious omen for us. And now the answer is that because these people are smart, they're very smart. You can tell by the way they talk and the way they're thinking, you know, they express their own individual opinion. You know, they are very smart people. So smart people are often successful anyway. That's why they are successful. And you can know that because they are successful, hmm? that they are smart. And smart people, they choose a compassionate lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, as the, some British researcher has proved already. They are smart kids. They will turn to vegetarian by the time they reach uh, 30-something. And these people, they have higher IQ than other people who did not turn to vegetarianism in the first third of their life. So they are very smart people. And uh, we have this info on our TV and website anyway about the smart people, or they choose vegetarian diet. And they are, on uh, some level, they are spiritually mature. They choose vegetarianism out of their heartfelt love and compassion for the innocent co-inhabitant animals and wish to terminate their suffering and to live their life without blood on their hands. They know peace begins on our table. And they want to contribute to peace and foster love among all species. They could have everything, yet they only take what they need and what brings joys and friendship, not those that hurts and destroy. You must know that these are saints on earth in the mortal God. The Buddha once mentioned that uh, if a person is in a well-off or powerful position but choose a compassionate, charitable way of life, such as vegetarian diet, then we must know that they are saints incarnate. It's an honor and blessing to know such a one. And they are here to bless the world by their noble deeds, demeanor and example. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Come stai? <laughs> Molto bene. Thank you, Master. <laughs> Molto bene. <laughs> and you? Good, good. Io molto bene. Lei sta molto bene. Lei è molto bella. Sì. Oh, grazie, grazie. <laughs> We've been seeing more religious and spiritual groups emphasizing the importance of green living in accordance of our role as a stewards of the planet, as mentioned in many holy scriptures, such as the Pope, he recently spoke on the urgency of climate change. Master, could you explain further the importance of the spiritual factor in halting global warming in comparison to the other factors, such as science or technology, that the general public is focusing on? A true spiritual practice goes with compassion and love for all beings. This is the core of a sustainable world. If we have this, we will have peace, love, harmony, security, health, and clear-mindedness. Only then can we truly enjoy whatever comforts science and technology bring into our life. Just to rely on and focus on science and technology alone will not uh, help us too much. Or maybe even if it helps, it's just temporarily and shortly. True spiritual life brings us in direct contact with the creative force of the universe, which supports and sustains life. All things spring from this creative power, including scientific and technological inventions. Otherwise, we just water the leaves and not the root if we rely only on science and technology. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Hi, Master. Hi. 
you have recently stated in a video conference in Seattle, Washington, that if diligent efforts are made to spread the urgent news and the vegetarian solution, then we could reach the critical mass. Master, could you please elaborate on this exciting prospect, please? I am meditating on it, <laughs> and you should be praying for it. Who knows? Dreams might always come true. I do hope all people, groups, governments, media we join in this endeavor. But regardless whether or not we get help, we are still doing the practical actions worldwide, seminars, TV flyers, public informative services, opening a chain of vegan restaurants, extra meditations, extra prayers, time, economizing to the max, even on sleep and foods, we do our best <laughs> to <laughs> minimize. And the result is up to heaven to see if the human race as a whole still merit divine grace, still merit this beautiful planet. It's not all up to Supreme Master Television and not all up to me. We can only do our best to inform people, and it's them they have to decide if they want to save their own lives or not. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. By the way, I'm glad you are okay, despite the strong earthquake. 5.4 is a very strong one. It's not a middle scale, it's a strong one. It shook the building and shook a lot of things. But uh, it's already minimized. Thank you, Master. A lot of people predicted that uh, Los Angeles, you know, California, will sink into the sea many years ago and many times over and over. But you are still there. Congratulations. Thank you, Master. Not that their predictions are not correct or accurate. It's just. Uh, we could change the fate, we could change our destiny if enough people support the virtuous life and if enough people have connection with God. Then the big disaster will become small and the small disaster will become zero. That's what it is. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. You look really good. Or maybe it's the light inside you that shines so well. Yes. Thank you, Master. All of you. And you're dressed up and all that, like you go in for Christmas party or something. I'm very honored that you show so much respect and love. You're shining inside out. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. You are working hard on it. You really progressed. We enjoyed your company today for Between Master and Disciples. Please tune in next Friday for Part 4 of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion, Leading a Virtuous Lifestyle in Accord with the Law of Love. And now, Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is up next, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May divine blessings fill your life with wonder and peace.